here teaching you today how to make rainbow loom fishtail. And as you can see, they're four-sided. So, first, just gotta get this. I'm going to do cotton candy colors, which is pink, white, and blue. I think, yeah, pink, white, and, pink, white, and blue. And you can do the same colors if, it, if you think it makes it easier. But this one, surprisingly, is easier than the original Rainbow Loom. So, first... Take your rainbow loom, and it doesn't matter, any two pegs, any two pegs. I'm just going to pick these two pegs, and with your first color, make an eight. So it should look like that on any two pegs. It doesn't matter what two pegs, any two pegs. And then, just slide it down a little and put the white on, right over it, right over, just like that. So you can see the X in the middle. And then, put the blue over the white in the same two bags. So, then it should look like this. And then take your hook and see the X one? Just gonna try to get it so you can watch me do it. Watch this. I'm gonna take it from the side. Oh, this I'm going to try to do this so that you, can, you guys can see it. I'm going to try to do it so you guys can see it. But, I'm just going to take the pink off of the two pegs, and it'll wrap around the white and the blue one. So it should look like that. It'll wrap around the white and blue. Now, since I just used the pink, take a pink out of your bag and put it on the same two pegs. And then, my next color would be white. And just... Take it over the two pegs, just like this. Kind of wiggle that off there. And then if you want, you can give these two pinks a little, a little the pink a little tug, so that one makes it tighter. And then, I just used a white, so you can... Take a white again, and white will go over like this, and you can give that a little tug in there. So, then my next color would be blue. And then if you tug on it a little, you can see that it's making the four double sided. So, since I did blue, I'm going to take my blue and this. And I'm just going to keep doing this so you guys can start catching on. And it's pretty much doing the same thing over and over. Just loop it over. 
and then give it a little tug and it should start looking like this. And soon it'll be four-sided once you get more into the bracelet. So I'm just, I'm just gonna scooch this down a little, put this on here. And now my next color is white. So just do that over. You guys can go whatever you paste you're on. I've made about five of these, so it doesn't really matter already. I have three right now, but I've made a lot, so it doesn't matter if you get it the first time. This, is a, um, this isn't a very hard skill, but you will get it eventually. So, I just did white, so I'm just going to take another white. And you guys get it? So I'm just going to keep going on mine. And I'll show you in a sec what it will look like. What it's supposed to be looking like. See? One, two, three, and four. It's like all four-sided. So, and then you just keep going, and once you get longer, you can put this on your hook, and then it can make it faster, like a little routine. So, and you can go like, doop, doop, doop. but I haven't got that far yet. I'm just trying to go a little slow so you guys can catch up on. So. I'm just gonna do this. So I just did a blue, so just pop that on the two pegs. And you can make about 28 um, fishtails on one loom, so pretty awesome. Because it, all it takes is two pegs. Not sure if I have a white left. So I think you guys get it because I think I'm almost out of white, so I don't think I'll be able to finish my bracelet. So you get it? It's just going to be like four-sided when you're finished. And when you're finished, I mostly end on the... I mostly end on the color that you started with. So if you did the same color as me, since I started with pink, I start with, um, you can start with, um, I would end with pink, and then you can just take it off, slip the other two um, rubber bands off, and there you go. There you have it, fishtail. Thank you, and bye for, and thanks for watching. Bye.